Welcome to Real Itchy Podcast. I'm your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. And if you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel. And thank you for all the support. Guys, we're pushing to 3,000 subscribers. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Also, too, let me know what you guys think about my channel right in the comment section. I appreciate all the feedback and all the support. So the Portland Trailblazers reportedly prefer Jaime Hawkes Jr. over Nikola Jovic in a potential Damian Lillard trade per Greg Sylvander. Shout out to him. Now, we know that the Portland Trailblazers have been giving the Miami Heat a hard time. I know a lot of haters have been saying, well, the Miami Heat don't have anything that the Blazers technically want, which is an absolute lie because the Miami Heat have pretty much offered multiple first-round picks, multiple second-round picks, multiple pick swaps, and a potential young player. So I understand why they want Jaime Hawkins Jr. He's 22 years old. He's more of a complete player right now, more than Nikola Jovic at 6'6", 220 pounds. Um, when he was at UCLA, he averaged 17.8 points, 8.2 um, rebounds and 2.4 assists. He's a guy that can create his own shot. He's a really good defender. And I think he's a better all around NBA ready player. I know that we haven't really seen much of both of them, but in terms of the Blazers timeline and what they want to do right now, a guy that they could pretty much put in the lineup at that small forward position, Jaime Hawkins Jr. is their guy. Now when now, with Nikola Jovic, I absolutely love his game. We all know that we would love to keep him as well at 6'10". Just his versatility at what he can do at a 6'10 frame. He's gained like, what, 20 pounds of muscle, which is very important. So now he can not only, you know, compete with the NBA level guys, but he can also take contact on the defensive end and also give contact when driving to the rim, which I definitely noticed during summer league, even though he didn't play a lot during summer league, I definitely noticed that he can get to the rim a lot, you know, his floor spacing and his potential um, ability to, to play next to a guy like Bam at a bio. I think it's very important if he can really just be a solid defender, which I don't think he's a bad defender. I think a lot of people even last year were saying that he was a bad defender. I think that was kind of overblown. I think he was a decent defender for a guy at 20 years old, which has a lot of potential. And I'm really hoping that the Miami Heat, to be honest, could keep both of them. But unfortunately, we would probably have to sacrifice like at least one of them. I know that Jaime Hawkins Jr. was on the Portland Trail Blazers draft board for a potential guy that they would want. And it just sucks because the Miami Heat, we always have the great eye to pick out all this great talent. And then these teams just want to piggyback off of us and just take them away. But for a guy like Damian Lillard, let me know in the comment section, do you guys think that it's worth to trade either Jaime Hawkins Jr., Nikola Jovic, or even both in a potential Damian Lillard trade. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 3,000 subscribers.